What's up guys, this is Ryan from Horror Hive and I am very honored to be in, able to introduce to you Oscar winner Howard Berger. Mr. Berger, how are you today? Uh, I'm good, I'm good, Ryan. How are you today? I'm, I'm excellent right now. Um, he, this is a man who has done it all in terms of effects work in the business and it's, uh, it's just amazing. I, I was amazed that you were here and I, I, I was amazed. I'm always been amazed at all the work that you've done over the years and so this, this really is an honor to get to talk to you. <laughs> wow, you used amazed a lot. So I did, that, I did. Amazing, that amazing, amazing, amazing. So, amazing. No, my pleasure and you know, it's, it's great to be here. I mean, it's, I don't really, I've never do com uh, conventions. Like I'll go to them as a, a, a spectator because I just, I'm a fan and I love monsters and movies and masks and all that cool stuff. But I, um, you know, Eric uh, Austin called me for this, and I was like, you know, I'm free. I just finished a film in, uh, in Louisiana, and I thought, okay, I come here and do this, and it's been great, and everyone's super, super nice, and I get to see a lot of people I haven't seen, like Tom Savini, who I've been friends with for over 30-some-odd years. Um, it's been really nice seeing everybody, so it's been great. I love it. Loved it. And you've been doing effects work for over 30 years now, and... Um You've done a lot of films. Is there a specific film or even films that you're the most proud of, you would say? Well, you know what? There's, uh, yeah, it's been 33 years, and, and K&B has been around for 27 years, and that's the company I, I co-own with Greg Nicotero. And um, I would say, for me, I, I love the Narnia movies, but the first one, Chronicles of Narnia, is my favorite film to work on. I'm really proud of that film, and, and it had great rewards. You know, obviously, I won the Academy Award in 2005 for that and uh, just really great. Um, Hitchcock was really super fun because I got to work with uh, Anthony Hopkins, which was like a dream come true, and do these character makeups. I really love the character makeups and the fantasy world, and you know, Greg is so great with um, the world of zombies, and he, that's really what he loves. You know? So it's nice, we, we run this company together, <clears throat> but we both have very different likes and, and uh, things we have, we're interested in, you know, and Greg loves to have blood on him. I don't, so, uh, so it works out perfect. But yeah, I, I, you know, those, I love those movies. And, and um, of course, you know, uh, Army of Darkness and Dust Till Dawn are two of my favorite films I've ever worked on. And I always judge it by what I have, I own on DVD. So I've done over 800 movies and I have like five DVDs, <laughs> so. Do you have a favorite creature creation or even just an effect that you've done for a film that, you know, that just stands out as, I mean, you mentioned Chronicles of Narnia. Um, it, would you say that's kind of your your greatest creation? I, I think so. I, I mean, I'm super proud. We did so many things like makeups and suits and mechanical creatures. And uh, I mean, it's just so filled with, with stuff, you know? But, you know, every film we do is a challenge, you know? So it could be 175 characters every single day for nine months on a Narnia movie. And then it could be the Wicked Witch makeup on Mila Kunis, you know, which she worked about 40 days on Oz the Great and Powerful. And it was a very difficult makeup. And Mila has beautiful skin. It's, and I had to take these appliances that were very smooth and blend them carefully into her face and paint it. And, you know, director Sam Raimi likes to shoot and shoot and shoot and always likes to start wide and then come in through the course of the day. So at about 14 hours, it's, he wants to do close-ups, but the makeup would not always stand up. Because, you know, Mila would just do her day-to-day -day things on top of performing and doing and this and this. So it, it was hard, you know, it was, a, it was a, even though that was just that one makeup, although we did hundreds of makeups for the movie, that was the most difficult makeup I think I've done that because of the amount of time I had to maintain it. It was, a, it was like a 24-7 thing. I was just like on Mila all the time. So at the end of the day, I was always exhausted, ready for bed. Speaking of Sam Raimi, uh, you worked on Evil Dead 2, of course, and of course Army of Darkness. Uh, uh, are you excited for the new series that's coming out? I am. I'm, yeah, I, I wish we had worked on it. We only did live casting for the guys in New Zealand. But um, yeah, it looks super fun. And I love Bruce and I love Sam and I just I think the Evil Dead stuff's fun. And I, I think they, they're doing the right thing. You know, like it, it looks it looks bloody and gory and horrific, but yet very, very funny. So I think it's going to be a good mix of, uh, of what those guys are great at and, and living within the, the, the Evil Dead universe. So I'm excited. All right. Well, thank you very much, yeah, sir. It's been an you. honor. Yes. It's been an honor. My pleasure. Yes, thank My you. Pleasure. All right. Well, you have a good time. Thanks yes. for coming. Yes, thank you. Uh, it was, it was nice Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye.